I'm sure many of you have actually wondered why the movie suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2 have no suit styles whatsoever and in this video we're going to be looking at the possibilities of what could have been and trust me you want to stick around for the whole thing because we've got at least like 15 movie suits to go through literally with like three suit styles each it is insane and it really makes me sad because we could have had something incredible now if if you don't know why movie suits don't have suit styles it's literally because movie rights right like movie rights are very very finicky when it comes to these things so like you know they'll allow uh you know games to use these suits but they won't allow them to modify said suits, which is unfortunate. However, when Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes to PC, you can bet we're going to be having suit styles for all of the movie suits. So I'm 100% confident in saying that, and it's going to be incredible because we have some incredibly talented modders in the community, and I really hope they stick around until then because in, in a year's time, probably, we're going to have this game on PC, and it's going to be awesome. So, this is designed by Swagboy7 over on Reddit, and it is an actually, like, fantastic job. So, as you can see, the first one here on screen, it's a bit lower quality for some weird reason, but this is the only one that's lower quality. But we have... Man, we're starting off with a banger. So, this is the Raimi Symbiote suit, and it is incredible. So, this very first suit style that you see to the right, I'm pretty sure this is inspired by Alex Ross, and it's pretty much... It's, it's really cool actually to see this suit in this kind of light here like I actually really enjoy this a lot you could see that emblem being black you've got you know black lenses um, you know it, I think it works really well and like this is actually a really cool suit style then we go down here uh, and I think this is like an anti-venom suit style I guess um, that's the only thing I can really think of and it's cool like <laughs> I, I like this one too, like this would have been really cool to have with the white tendrils and in the story would have been awesome. Like there's, I mean, it just makes me sad looking at this because of how cool it looks and how awesome it would have been. And to the right we have kind of like a green, black and grey suit style and I'm pretty sure this one here is from um, Marvel Nemesis Rise of Imperfects or at least it's inspired by that. I, I mean, like, actually, I'm a sucker for this. I think it works really well. Like, a lot of people are probably like, oh, man, what is this? What is this suit colors, man? But I think it's it's pretty damn cool, right? And if you're still here, man, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate the support on the channel. You guys have been absolutely incredible. I mean, seriously, you have been absolutely incredible. So if you're feeling generous, hit that like button, man. Subscribe from you. And let's go to the next uh, suit variation here which we have the actual new updated Raimi suit and my god this is just perfect so that first suit style to the right I'm pretty sure it's just like I guess I don't I don't, I don't know if that's like more movie colors or what but it's it, it's a little bit different right so it, it kind of feels like more of like a spider-man 3 recolor or or what they did with the advanced suit 2.0 where that first suit style is kind of a bit of a different color. This is the uh, Hulk, like Bruce Banner, uh, Spider-Man colors. Because in in one of the uh, like one of the variants of Spider-Man is Bruce Banner, and he looks like this. So okay, okay, never mind. I was getting a bit confused, man, because there's a lot going on. And then this one here, I guess the only thing I can think of, this actually reminds me of like the friend. Or faux kind of like colors I guess or sit or this would be like a symbiote version of the regular Raimi suit something like that it's pretty interesting looks cool I actually really enjoy that next we've got the goat the amazing spider-man uh, suit I really really like this one a lot and as you can see um, this very first one um, here is pretty much like you know you've got to have this type of uh, suit recolor so this again it's like the advanced suit 2.0 uh, first suit style where the colors like you've got the black there you've got white lens like I think it looks really nice actually this is a very very nice suit style I like it you know obviously now this second one here this is obviously like a symbiote version which looks very nice actually um, we've had this 
exact uh, variation actually, I'm pretty sure in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 video game, or it was the second one, I think it was the first one obviously, that had that, it looked very very nice, and I think it was the only time we really saw alternate suit styles for that, but it made sense because it was an Amazing Spider-Man game, so they could modify that, right, like they had the rights to. And then it was actually confirmed by Swagboy7 that this suit style here, the fully all black one, was based on the black suit from the new Ultimate Spider-Man run. So this was meant to be like the Picotex uh, stealth suit, which is, it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I don't know if I'd use this one a lot because it's very, very like, it's very muted. But hey, like I'm sure it would look good because, you know, Amazing Spider-Man suit. I'm a sucker for it. I really, really like this suit. <laughs> I mean, how could you not, right? Then we have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, okay? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, one of the greatest, if not the greatest suit of all time, like 100%, and I'm glad that it got the love that it did in Marvel Spider-Man 2. <laughs> so this first one is based on Spider-Man Blue, which I think is very, very cool. Um, I think it works really well, especially if you know what happens to Gwen Stacy. Uh, yeah, so it really works with this suit. Uh, well, with this Spider-Man at least. Man, Gwen Stacy just hit rock bottom, huh? No, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> then this bottom uh, bottom one here is... I'm pretty sure this is, like, based on... I don't know, actually, like, Ultimate Spider-Man symbiote suit style? I can't really... Like, nothing really comes to mind um, when it comes to this. But I know this one's based on... Um, Arachnid, man. That just... It just, I mean, come on, that's a rock man right there. Like, that's pretty interesting, but I can't really, like, the only thing I can think of for this other one is, like, the ultimate uh, symbiote, I guess. Which, which yeah, it makes sense. Big googly eyes on the suit. Yeah, I could see it. So now we're finally getting into the Tom Holland movie suits. And, jeez, man, this game has all of them. And Tom Holland has a ton of movie suits. So this is the uh, homemade one. Which is, it, yeah, it's, it's alright, like, it's it's pretty cool to see. Um, we've got, I guess, like, this one would be an Alex Ross suit style, I think. Because uh, it's a bit darker, it's got the dark lenses. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try to speed through these. Then this uh, this one here is obviously based on the homemade suit of the Raimi uh, Spider-Man, which is cool. Because, you know, we've got that stencil there. And all the blue bits of red as well. I think that is awesome. It would be a cool reference. Unfortunately, we, we won't get that. And then... Uh, what is this one here? Actually, This one's just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. But again, he looks like he's just wearing normal clothes. I guess that's alright. Um, so yeah, some of these... like. You know, I, I genuinely like might not understand. So if you know what this is a reference to, or any of the ones I didn't really understand, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. Now we have the Homecoming Stark suit, which I actually really like. This suit, you know, like yeah, okay, Tony Stark made it, whatever, but it, it it's still it's still nice, right? So I think this first suit style is based on the weird like goblin suit from the comics and oh my god i just hate the idea of him having a suit made by norman osborne in the comics i think that is a terrible idea i don't care if norman's like turned a new leaf or whatever the hell's going on i've not been reading the comics at all i just despise the uh, amazing spider-man run however the ultimate spider-man the new one is looking really good and I've been reading that, so if you want to read a good Spider-Man comic, go read that. <laughs> but yeah, this is like, it, it's a cool, I guess I like the yellow lenses, but God, I hate what the what the uh, suit style like represents, you know? Like, <laughs> then I think this bottom, uh, uh, this bottom one here is actually just more like tuned in as to what it looked like in the movies. Because it literally looks one-to-one -one like the actual CGI model they used in the movie, which is crazy to me. Uh, it looks really good actually obviously it's a bit more muted colors because i like the vibrant stuff but it, it's a pretty cool option right and then all the way to the, like all the way over here you have the more so like um brighter blue to really go with the classic like spider-man colors and then the black stripes are replaced with i guess blue as well so that's that's quite an interesting design it's either white or blue i think it's white i don't know but it, it, it's alright, I like it. 
you know it's it's an interesting design so let's go to the next one here which is the iron spider suit and i flip flop with this suit man sometimes i'm like okay this is like it had an interesting concept like with that spider emblem but man oh man is this thing over designed it is crazy over designed so that very first one uh to the right here is actually one that i remember and this is an actual concept that they had or at least like a suit style or something like that because they had a lot of cool concept arts that were revealed for the infinity war uh movie and there were like even at some points they had like full-on uh versions where it looked like the classic comic one and one of the also like i said like different variations they had was like these colors and this would be such a sick variant like i'd probably actually end up using it if it looked like this because it would get uh get rid of a lot of the different like segments and things and just leave it like that then the bottom left one i guess it's just like i i don't i don't know genuinely like i don't know i think it might have been another alternate version or something i don't know and then to the right oh, well yeah here you have like the yellow lenses and gray and black which i think works really well so i think sometimes like there is no reason for like suit styles like in in the game as well like sometimes you just have random colors but if i'm missing something different let me know because some of these are actually i think like this one's based on anti-venom now that i think about it because if you look at the eyes they're yellow that's why it's so i think it's based on anti-venom as far as i can tell so that's pretty cool i like that a lot okay then we have the far from home suit this first one i would recognize this anywhere this is based on the mary jane like spider-man spider-woman suit uh obviously the white uh you know just the white um in red like it just gives it away i absolutely love her design so i think this this actually looks very very cool i really dig it actually it looks very very nice and it works really well with this suit okay then we have like i guess a more so like classic spider-man suit stuff so it's like incorporate in, it incorporates the blue makes the spider emblem instead of like having the weird like white bits on it it makes it fully black i actually like this one too like i think this is really well done as well and to the right here we have the miles Morales variant which again i think is pretty cool of course you got to give our boy my uh, miles some love really really cool actually like the way this looks and i hope that when modders uh make alternate suit stars for the movie suits when it comes out on pc this will be fantastic and i hope it's one of the variants because this looks really nice I, I hope this isn't what miles looks like when he comes to the mcu but it is a pretty cool you know reference and like shout out to miles so i like that a lot then we have the integrated suit and oh boy this one was just made for the toys like you can clearly tell because it's the far from home suit with the golden spider of the iron spider suit obviously never really been too much of a fan of this one but yeah the first suit style here again i think it's like the more so uh i think this is a reference to the classic iron spider or something like that if i remember co co correctly i don't know because of the yellow lenses and the golden spider and then everything else is red which looks really cool then I think this one here, I guess, is like a Ben Riley variant, from what I can tell, uh, because of the uh, like the big logo there uh, with the blue and the red, which again is really really cool. Like I genuinely like that a lot, the way it looks. And then to the right here, I think this is, I guess, an advanced suit reference or something else. I don't 100% know on this one, but. For the most part i really like these sort of designs here i think they look really really nice and have been like these have been really nicely edited too by the way because like you know this has to be manipulated in photoshop like this is an in-game or anything like that obviously you can tell but it is it is quite cool to see the length of like how far uh swag boy 7 would go to make these like look really cool so you know all respect uh, respect in that sort of um in that regard so now we've got the no way home suit style this first one obviously is it's either one of two things so this is either like a symbiote suit type thing or what i actually think it is i think this is the negative suit which is very very cool actually <laughs> like i think it is awesome to see that type of um like reference for this spider-man suit i think it actually looks pretty damn nice 
on this suit in particular. Then we have, I guess, some more so like just instead of the blue, it's, it's black here for the like, colors on this one, which again, really, really cool. Uh, and then obviously, like we're just kind of blitzing these because you, know, you can really tell what they are and it's, it's cool. And then over here, we have the Webman variant, which man, I can't get away from Webman. There's always like every single Spider-Man game has at least like a ton of Webman recolors, which I mean, I don't hate Webman, but like, you know, it gets to a point where you're like, man, oh man, Webman, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna be called the webman hater, bro. <laughs> oh no. Okay, on to the next one here. And now we're beginning with the Miles Morales suit variant. So this is the Into the Spider-Verse uh, store-bought variant. And as you can see, the very first one here is clearly a Prowler reference, which looks fantastic, might I add? It looks really cool. Man, that is sick. That is actually awesome because I love like the way the lenses look there. I love the purple and green. I think it just looks really, really nice, right? Like, it's as simple as that. Then we have, I guess, just like, like I said, the Advanced Suit 2.0, like uh, for a suit style recolor uh, with the black and like, uh, I guess, I don't know what the technical name for this color is. Uh, but it looks cool and then obviously you have a reference to Miles's classic sort of you know suit with a yellow cape which again is really really cool I dig that a lot I don't know if the yellow cape is meant to symbolize anything or is it, it's just meant to some like kind of connect more with these like electric powers I guess uh, but again it is cool and I dig it man I think this is dope then we have the across the spider-verse suit here I think we skipped the Into the Spider-Verse, so we'll probably come back around to that one. But this first variant is based on, funnily enough, um, Earth 42's Prowler. Um, like that's literally what uh, Swagboy based it on from the comments left on the thread. And I think this actually does look quite nice. Um, I think the colors merge really well. <laughs> it really, it, it, like, it really makes this bit here like stand out a lot but i think it does look nice then obviously the second variant is spider-man 2099 um looks cool right i think that is a pretty cool reference obviously i, I wish that he's as kind of glowed um at least on that suit style but it looks really really nice actually it really does and i think it's a cool reference i <laughs> miles would probably like oh, sick to his stomach wearing a suit like this it's just you see the reflection but oh my god it's coming out for me again but that's pretty cool and then this last one obviously you can tell this is based on spider gwen uh which again really really cool stuff here i really like the references i think especially the gwen one works super super well because you already know what you know spider gwen's like you know colors are when it comes to her suit and they've been really like they've been merged very very well to do with Miles' suit I think it looks fantastic here and uh, hats off to Swagboy for this one for sure now we're back to Into the Spider-Verse and again I think this very first one is well it's purple right it's, it's there's a lot of purple going on um so I guess this one could also be Prowler. I don't, I don't really know, <laughs> but I, I actually really like these colors a lot, like a lot, a lot. I think this looks very, very nice. Um, I don't know though, uh, because this bit here is, it's very, I, I don't know about this color here though, at least, but it looks cool. Then we have, I guess this is a reference to Uptown Pride, I guess. Uh, that's the only thing I can really think of because you know in Miles Morales we had a really cool suit that you get from a side mission that has you kind of be more in touch with the community at least if I remember that's what it was and I really liked Uptown Pride and I'm really sad that it didn't get brought back as a suit style for the classic suit however this would have been a cool reference I really like it a lot it looks nice it's very simple of a recolor and, and it works really well and then here we have I guess more so like regular spider-man colors but also think again it's like the advanced suit 2.0 recolor at least that's what i get from this i don't uh 100 know but I, I dig it a lot like it works well then we have the final one i can't believe we're already here 
Okay, so literally confirmed already, like right off the bat, that this uh, very first one here is based on Prowler. I, this this one can't be based on Prowler, right? How is this one based on Prowler? I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know, right? Looks cool though. I I like it. It's always cool seeing Noir with like different colors and stuff. Then I can definitely tell what this like second suit style is. This is PDB Parker's outfit, you know, with the green jacket and all that. And I think the red looks really nice here on Noir. And I like the um, like I I really dig the whole trench coat like color here as well. And then with the last one, it's the the Clone Hunter. Like very clearly um, references that. It's like that mask just gives it away with the brown trench coat I, it, it just looks sick. it looks sick man i really wish that we got this but let me know which one of these suit styles was your favorite and what you would have made them yourself subscribe to the channel if you're new watch another video here take care of yourselves thanks so much for all the love peace